I think I have a little bit of a, of a palette problem going on here. Palette addict, party of one, your table is ready. Is there a 12 step program for this? Hi there chickadee, it's Carla from Two Real Chicks. I'm one of the two chicks. The other real chick, Cindy, is taking an indefinite leave from the channel. But I am not alone today because I am doing a wonderful collab and tag video with the fabulous Bella from Beauty on a Budget. And we are talking to you today about our top palette recommendations. First, let me tell you a little bit about Bella. She has a fabulous channel and I hope that you will go over and check her out, Beauty on a Budget. I will link it down below. She does wonderful videos. She does beautiful looks and terrific recommendations of wonderful makeup and beauty and skincare products that are affordable. Thus her name, Beauty on a Budget. And she just brings you some absolute fabulous finds and I've picked up many of them myself and I haven't regretted a single one. The thing I love about Bella the most, I do enjoy watching her to pieces, but the thing I love about her most is her absolute kind, kind heart. She is one of the sweetest people, truly a sweet soul, and one of the just most genuine people that you'll ever watch here on YouTube. So please be sure to check her out, and I can't wait to see what her palette recommendations are. So let's get started, okay? Okay, we have 10 questions in this tag. Question number one, the best palette for beginners. If you are brand new to makeup or you simply don't want to do a whole lot of fussing with your makeup, I cannot recommend highly enough the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. It is a beautiful palette, but it is so simple, it's pretty much impossible to mess this palette up or to mess up any looks with it. It's an all matte palette. You have everything from your darker shades, your mid-tone shades, all the way down to your lighter shades. You can do so many incredible looks with this. You can do a dramatic smoky eye or a very simple basic look, but it will always be classic, crisp, and clean. So if you're just starting out or you just want a no fuss, no must look that is going to be crisp, sharp, and elegant every time, it is this one, your Naked Basics Palette from Urban Decay. Question number two, best drugstore palette. As you can see, I have a bit of an obsession with these e.l.f. palettes. These oblong palettes from e.l.f., not to be mistaken for some of their other ones, but these oblong palettes are amazing and they do indeed rival many Urban Decay palettes. Just take a look at these beautiful colors. This is called their Mad for Matte Summer Breeze, but I think it's going to be gorgeous in the fall. This is a fairly new release from them. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Look how warm those are. So many different possible looks with this one. They have some other terrific palettes in these oblong shapes. Here's some basics for you. These have uh, both shimmers and mattes in these. Now, the mad for mattes obviously are all matte, but this particular one is called Need It Nude, and it has great shimmers and mattes in it. Lots of lovely warm and cool tones in that, as well as neutral tones. This one is the original mad for matte. Does this not rival the Urban Decay Smoky Palette? Yeah, I think so. Mm hmm definitely. And then they have some all shimmer palettes. These are their prism palettes, which come in two different shades. Here we have more peaches, pinks, and oranges. And then here we have more neutral shades. And you can tell that my brush has been dipped in these quite a bit. And I do give these some love. These are great. These are $10 a piece, 10 bucks. You cannot beat the price. This, I think, is not only a bargain, but it is a very high quality drugstore palette. Recommend this one highly. Question number three the best palette for work or school. I love the Lorac Unzipped Palette. I am really, really taken with all things that kind of lean toward the cooler side, especially with plums and purples, but this has an awful lot of neutrals in it, no matter your skin tone. If you're a neutral girl, this one works for you. So if you want to go more on the brown side, you can do that. And also if you want to go a little bit more and explore with the pinks and the plums and the purples, you can definitely do that as well. It is a gorgeous palette, and the reason that I recommend it for work or school is because it has so much versatility. These are all matte shades, and you will have a classic look every time. And again, just like the Naked Basics palette, it's difficult to mess this up. They don't get muddy, they blend beautifully, and you'll have just a very elegant eye look that's not overstated or understated. It's just perfect. 
Question number four, the best palette for a natural way to play with color. This one I had a really hard time with because the key word in this question is natural, a natural way to play with color. So this one is the one I came up with, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. Look at all of these pretty colors in here. You've got lots of pinks, you've got some purple, you've got some grays, you've got some blues. There are just some lovely, lovely shades. So if you want to get bold, you can, but I have used these and they really don't come off all that crazy. They just give you a little pop of color and you can go as wild or as as subtle as you choose to go. So this is a great palette if you're looking to add some nice pops of color. And it's Too Faced so you know it's good stuff. Question number five, the palette that gives you the biggest bang for your buck. I am a big fan of Profusion Cosmetics. I have been for several years. And this eye and cheek palette, oh my goodness. This sucker is $9.99 at Target. Yes, this entire thing is $9.99. And it even comes with a really decent brush. If I can get it open, I will show you. There we go. Check this out. You are getting all of these eye shades. All of these eyeshadows here, all of these eyeshadows here. So you have definite warm shades here, definite cool and neutral shades here. You're getting blushers, you're getting highlighters and bronzers all in one palette for $9.99. This is a good quality palette. Profusion Cosmetics, a highly underrated brand. I love this brand and I can't believe that it's as inexpensive and yet as good a quality as it is. They blend beautifully. They don't get chalky, maybe a little powdery, maybe a little bit of fallout, but for $9.99, I'm willing to deal with that. Are you? Yeah, I think so. I just went to check my camera to make sure it wasn't overheating and everything was going okay. And I just realized that Raggedy Ann was behind me the whole time. And you know what? I'm not going to redo it. I used Raggedy <laughs> to sit in the chair because her face is about the same size as my face. And that's how I make sure I get the focus properly. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story about my Raggedy Ann. She is as old as I am. I have had her since I was two or three years old. So Raggedy is pushing 50. I'm pushing 51. So Raggedy, you know what? It's okay if you're in the shots with us. Do you like these palettes? Yeah, she's good. See you later, Raggedy. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Question number six. The best palette for your skin tone. Okay, this question is an insert your skin tone here, and I am a neutral skin tone girl, so I'm pretty lucky. I get to go whether I want to go on the cool side with some plums and purples, or I get to go on the warmer side with some nice siennas and, and some beautiful browns. So I have two because of that, and that way, if you're cool or warm toned, these are my recommendations for you, including if you are neutral toned. All right, I love the Tartlet in bloom palette i mean you've got these gorgeous shades this is also another one that's really really good if you want to play with co color subtly it's got gorgeous pinks and coppers it's also got some neutral shades and some warm shades but these are definitely cooler tone shades this is just a gorgeous palette that will give you a perfect lavender or pink or smoky eye look i love this palette especially if you're neutral or cool toned and if you are a warm tone girl, I love the Milani Everyday Palettes. And let me see what shade this is in. This is the Milani Everyday Eyes Palette. And this is in, oh, come on, Earthy Elements. And this is just a beautiful warm tone palette. Look at those shades. Just look at those. Are they not gorgeous? And this right here, it's kind of a terracotta color. Oh my gosh, using that right above where you would put your transition shade, especially if you have hooded eyes, gorgeous. Milani Drugstore, very good quality, excellent price, can't beat it. Question number seven, best palette for my color eyes. Another insert your eye color here. In this case, my eyes are blue. And so for that, I have chosen the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. All of the brown and coppery and gold shades really do make 
blue eyes just pop and people will just be going oh my gosh you have the most gorgeous blue eyes i've ever seen and this is a great palette to do that with color pop shadows very affordable this entire palette 16 dollars and they blend like a dream they are not chalky they're not chunky and they last all day so i love the i think i love you palette what's not to love question number eight best all-in-one palette I had a hard time with this one as well because this is definitely an all-in-one palette. This was my original choice, but I instead went with the brand new Emily Needs palette, and I am wearing that today. My entire eye look, my cheeks, my highlighter, my contour, everything is from the Emily Edit Needs palette. Take a look at that. It has everything you need right in there. The bronzer here, blusher here, highlighter here, another matte highlighter. This one is shimmer, a matte highlighter, or if you want to use it as an all over shade on your eye. This you can not only use on your cheeks, you can use this on your eyes as well. Then you have some beautiful shadows here that are a nice mix of neutrals, but you have a little bit of a pinker shade here with this one. And then you have this gorgeous metallic dark so that if you really want to go dramatic, you can. This is another one that would suit you well for work because you can go as subtle or dramatic as you want to. $15, Emily Noel, wonderful job. This is from Revolution, the two of them collabing together. This is an outstanding palette. I had no intention of getting this, wasn't going to, but I'm going to Ireland in a couple of months and I decided to get it because I thought it would be great for travel. And that's gonna take us to our next question. Question number nine, the best palette for travel. Now, I decided not to choose an all-in-one palette for that. Instead, I decided to go with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And the reason I went with that one is because you have so much variety in this. You have your cool tones, you have your warm tones, and then you have your neutrals. And you can create so many different looks with this. And I think this would be great for travel because of the versatility. And it's Kat Von D excellent quality. You can't go wrong with it. This is an iconic palette already, and this is one that I would definitely recommend for travel. Question number 10, final question, one palette that you would not recommend. This was an easy one for me. Now, as much as I love these e.l.f. eye palettes, when it comes to their baked eyeshadow palettes, these are trash. Plain and simple. These are trash. First of all, absolutely no color comes off at all. You have to scrape and scrape and scrape and scrape and scrape to get the layer off. They don't blend. They look horrible on your eyes. They don't last. They just look like you've put a muddy mess on there. The colors are really, really funky and they're just garbage all the way around. Do not waste your money on any e.l.f. baked eyeshadow palettes. Trash. This has been so fun to do, and the best part about it was working with beautiful Bella. Be sure that you go check out her channel. You will not regret it. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you are, because she's going to bring you some wonderful, wonderful videos, and you will learn a lot, and you will find some fabulous things that are beauty on a budget. Bella, my friend, thank you so much for collabing with me. You're such a sweetheart. Love you dearly. Now, this is not only a collab, but it's a tag too. So I'm going to tag some people. The people that I'm tagging are those that I think have awesome taste in palettes. So here goes. I tag Lauren from The Honest Beauty Review, Kathy A. Beauty, Mary from Glitzy Fritzy, Swoozy Bird, Just Ann, Beauty Diction, Michelle from Cinnamon Girl Beauty, Jill Christ, Kathy's Beauty Care Chats, and Dawn's Life Over 40. I hope that you will do this tag. And if you are a content creator and I didn't name you, don't feel left out because tag, you're it. Consider yourself tagged. Jump on in, the water's fine. We'd love to have you do this tag. Now, I got this tag from Tiffany Dawn. It was originally created by someone else. I will credit her in the description box down below because I think her name is Kaylee, but I can't remember her last name, but I will make sure that they're both credited down below. And all of the products that I have mentioned today will be listed down below, as well as everything that's on my face today. Thanks so much for joining us today on Two Real Chicks. It's always a joy to be with you, and I especially love doing tags and collabs. So, Bella, I can't thank you enough, and I can't thank you enough 
for watching. It always makes my day that much more special when you keep me company and when you're a part of it. I'm Carla from Two Real Chicks, so until next time, love you. We will see you later.